There's a consistency when I looked at the other shows of telling a good story. Ron Howard talked about a great story. Spike Lee talked about how to make a great story. We have a chapter on how to make a great story. Yeah, I mean, and even the chefs who are very successful in Masterclass, they tell a good story. I think what really comes through that's really different from the other classes is, like Rich said, the, 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 the partnership, working together, having a good time together, and seeming to enjoy what we do. And finish you know, each other's sentences. John, John F. Kennedy said, you know, happiness is doing something you love to the best of your ability. And it kind of looks that way. Right. You see people just having a good time. Yeah. Advertising is a business to business kind of thing between an advertising agency and a client. But the thing you make is always to consumer, to some, to studying somebody, figuring out what they're like and, and um, what, what you want to give them to get their attention. And, I think there was that side of it. They were like, you know, this is something that you can help, you can use for, yeah, your own personal brand or something. And and also at interviews and teaches you about how to present yourself and teaches you about what, like how to be interesting. But also, I think people are fascinated with advertising. They're just, they're really interested yeah. in how it happens. Everyone is building their own personal brand now. That has changed. Yeah. They are. And I'm, not, I'm not. Well, we don't have to, but there's an Instagram out there of um, everyone's, branding, you know, what they're eating, what they're doing, always having a better life than you are. Yeah. Advertising is everything and nothing. Yeah, and I think I think the idea of that is that advertising is incredibly in, you know, powerful when it comes into our lives and it's good. It's incredibly powerful and then it just disappears. And people don't remember things that happened a year ago. They don't remember they don't remember it sometimes. I mean, hopefully we make things that are less ephemeral than other people do, but they're still pretty ephemeral. Brands can now have a different kind of voice come across some... And it, that's what it is. Is that advertising? I don't know. It's just communication in an interesting way. It's, it, it, I think it's an attempt to say that it's not about media anymore. It's not about you know making TV stuff. It's not about making outdoor boards. It's, it's, it's about that, but it's about so much more. It's really about doing something that you will seek out and share with your friends. That's what I think advertising is now. Advertisers have to have a good conscience. They have to come across <clears throat> as good citizens. Sometimes we can help them with that. Advertising is about time. I mean, you have to do something that's appropriate to the length of time. So a three second thing was really just somebody screaming Sega. Sega! Some strange person or dog or something screaming Sega. But nowadays, you know, there you can do any length of thing and you have to have you have to have the discipline to tell a story within that time. And and, and that's what great advertising uh, people can do. They can tell an entire story in 30 seconds. It has the beginning. It goes somewhere and it ends beautifully. We never started this business for money. We were trying to prove something to ourselves, to our fathers, to the world. We're still trying to do that. And so we only know how to do this because it feels right to us. I think we're trying to convey to Masterclass, if it feels right, it is right. It's so not a school. tutorial about how to go into advertising. It's not. They have advertising schools for that. It's how to tell a good story, how to present yourself well, how to trust your gut. You know um, what else You know what else it did, I think, is they asked us a lot about creating an environment where people could be creative and fearless. How do you do that? How, you know, it's like, it's like we're doing now. How, why is this fun? I like, and we're having fun. You know, this could be stressful. We're on camera and we could look really bad. But I think that we're, we, have, we have an ability to take a situation and kind of make it be fear, make, make you fearless in that situation. And it might make you go, wait, I'm not having fun where I am. Maybe I should change my life. Yeah. So I hope that it. does that to everyone. Yeah. <laughs>